Detroit Bay Area Maker Fair, and a big thanks to Matter Hackers for bringing me down. I'm at the Kickstarter booth, but there's more to this story than what meets the eye. Hey, Ron. Hi, how are you? I'm great, and I see this, it, well, it looks like a paste extruder. Can you talk a little bit more about this? Sure, it's called the 3D Potter, and it's a paste extruder designed specifically for clay, and so what we're extruding here is a full body clay to make ceramic objects. Oh, it's clay, so I mean, these objects can get fired. These objects can get fired, and there's some examples back there of fired objects that I brought. See back on this shelf? We'll hand one right here. So this oh, is fired that. ceramic. Oh, that is, yeah, that is ceramic. Use, that's not going anywhere. Yeah, you can use porcelain, terracotta. This is real. Uh, this is not plastic. This is... Wait, do that again. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and this was made with this machine, right? This was made with this machine, yeah. This is, where could people see more of this, or is, is this something for sale? This is something on the market, and we are moving it this week through the Kickstarter campaign. Okay. The Kickstarter campaign is called The Bottery. We're launching it, Emerging the Objects. Wait, The Bottery. The Bottery, Robotic <laughs> Pottery. <laughs> right here. Yeah, there it is, The Bottery. That's perfect. That's a perfect name for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and so you can find it on Kickstarter. Okay. There, if you pledge on Kickstarter, you can get cups, mugs, vases, uh, machines, one-on-one -on -one instruction, even uh, opportunities to have team building workshops to come in and we can show you how to use the equipment. But also we're developing a very easy to use software in the cloud because the biggest barrier to entry is modeling, right? Pressing the button on the printer is easy. Sure, mo modeling is always the, one of the larger barriers to entry. So for example, these pieces that you see here, I mean, they're just software that they use a software that just says, all right, I want it to be this shape, this height, these dimensions, this kind of profile, and maybe some deviations, and you can make some really exciting pottery really quickly. Oh, the soft, so these deviations aren't individually made. The software is able to extrapolate from an right. ID. Oh, exactly. that's cool. So if you imagine traditional coiled pottery, which is just a series of rings, we can, always say, we can also say, well, make those rings deviate 10 times then turn it 50%, and then you get some really nice textures and qualities to the material. Well, this is a great idea because, I mean, I, you go to a lot of, uh, as an example, farmer's markets, and you mm -hmm. see people selling custom-created vases, right. pottery items. You know, my mom would love to put plants in one of these, I'm sure. Yeah. This is a great idea, but I see behind you emerging objects. What is, what is that? Emerging Objects is my company, and what we do at emer Emerging Objects, it's founded by two architects, myself and my partner. And we, our goal is to design using 3D printers. But not only design objects, design architecture. So if you go to emergingobjects.com, you'll see we just completed a house in Oakland that's all entirely 3D printed. The entire outside is 3D printed ceramic. Also some of our other material inventions like Chardonnay grape skins, uh, sawdust. Through, through a machine like this? Through our ecosystem of different kinds of machines and the materials we invent. The entire outside, the 4,500 ceramic tiles, are printed with this machine. Because it prints really fast. For the yeah. show here, I'm running it like 10 miles an hour. Yeah. It can go 150 miles an hour. Oh, this is so, for display, I mean, yeah. you could... This is um, eight minutes, you have this. Eight minutes? Yeah. <laughs> it takes longer to fire it than it does to make it. Right. <laughs> but then, once you fire it, it lasts 100,000 years. Oh, sure, that's, that's gonna be a keepsake. That's a yeah. family heirloom item right there. Yeah. Okay, so for more information about this, they can go to emergingobjects.com, is that right? You go to emergingobjects.com, you will see our Kickstarter campaign, you will also see information about the Potterbots and the innovations that I'm doing with Danny here uh, at, uh, at 3D Potter. Where can they find out about that house you 3D printed? I'm really curious. On the that. Emerging Objects website. It is there, okay, good. Emergingobjects.com. Uh, Ron. Yeah. Thank you, so thank nice you very much. You. Good to meet you. I'll, uh, I'll see you online, my friend. Thank Happy you. Maker Fair. Thanks a lot.